Well, hello and welcome back. Today, well, we're just going to continue our game of Waltorio. So, last time we could say we somewhat improved our harvesting platform here. Kind of yes and kind of no because reasons. But what we can do today is... See if we can improve things a little bit more here. That's a part yeah, be fine. Okay. So what I kind of, kind of want to do here is grab a couple more of inserters here so we can keep these running nice and smoothly here with some more transport belts here. So you're going to go there and there. I'm pulling out from here, going all the way across to here for the iron to be inserted in. Power it all up. Like so. Now it's not going to be the fastest at the moment, but that will work. So this is going to be producing quite a bit of Is it firearm magazines to supply my banks here? So that's good. So now, what I want to do next, and we can see, yes, plenty of ores are coming in now. I need, I actually have a better way of buffering it, but yeah, it's good for now. We've got that going on. Now, the next thing I want to do is make some more. Assembly machines, because I'm going to want to be making some logistic science packs here. But to do that, we're going to need about five assembly machines to make everything. Yeah, that's a lot of copper we've got coming in. Why all the copper? Oh, because a lot of it's placed on the copper mines. Okay. Yeah, they all have somewhat. So let's move this across a bit more so it's not really in as big a range of copper as it is other things. Okay. Here we go. Because we kind of want to be just focusing on iron at the moment. Cool. Okay. We've got the five green science oh, assemblers we need for this. So let's see, where do I have the space to put five of them down? Rising is actually... Oh, we don't exactly need some of this space here. Okay, so we're going to set one up to be that one. We're going to need to set one for transport belts, one for inserters, one for electronic circuits. We actually need another one for copper cables. And we, yeah, I forgot the one for copper cables. That's fairly easily fixed. We just make another one and then we need one for iron gear wheels. Perfect iron plates. Nice. It's a shame I can't have half of these going on to the other side of the belt, but eh. It's fine. That's what I get for going for a split belt there. Oh, sushi belt. But hey, it's working out. So. No. Stop that. Oh, you've already dealt with it. It's a shame. Ah! Run away! Well, they're coming already. That is... a bit nasty. Let's start the warp up and we'll go. Should give me plenty to deal with here. Okay. 
And looks like we're gonna need another offshore pump. So, main goal of this is to get the green up. We, because I won't be able to get towards automation two, which will lead onto fluid handling. We want the fluid handling to be able to, well, have a buffer tank of water to be able to keep this producing longer without needing it. So I could easily just go up there and move everything up there without having to worry about stuff. That is my main reason for that. And we also need to make some buffers for this, but can't exactly do it this way, so that's fine. Hmm. Yeah. Might need to do something about this because this is not the most, the best way of going about this that I want to go, but eh, it is what it is. Easiest thing here is we can just grab a full stack and start hand feeding everything here. Equal amounts, pretty much. We can increase it speed a little bit with these. Uh, filter iron. Perfect. Now let's go for another one. There we go. Yeah, it's quite a bit faster here, so that's good. So come already. I think we'll just, yeah, they already started to come, so we'll start the war and get out of here. Can you plan it new once? Okay, planetary mobile teleport gate. We get down after we plunk down this. We plunk this down with like a one, two gap in between. That will automatically do that. Whoa, that's fairly close. Um, down here, I think we'll still focus on more, collecting more iron. Haven't got the thing set up to upload anything else, so that's fine. You're getting more iron. No, actually, that might not be a smart idea because there's a biter nest right there. Unless, because I can take it down. Possibly. We have some gun turrets. We could go for the crawl technique. Don't know if we have enough to warrant it. Okay. Give me some ammo. Let's see what I can do about taking down this biter nest down here to give me a bit more leniency, I'll say. Plunk you down. Oh, we're outside of range, so that's good. We've only got two spawns to deal with. Cool. I might actually be able to deal with the other one up top as well. I definitely need more ammo, but this works. Because we don't have to worry about the worms. They're only there as defenses. Oh, nice. We've got the water projectile round set. Gives us a bit more damage with our guns. So that's good. Next, what I wanted to do was. Well, if we go for a warp platform upgrade, we could actually improve our defensive situation a bit better. That might be a good one. We could also get warp halves to east platform as well. No, we don't have that yet. So. 
Let's go for the warp platform to upgrade while we can. Possibly even weapon shooting speed. Okay, I think we need to get out of here. So we'll just pick up our items. Okay, that's fine, that can be destroyed. I guess that's just the... yep. We pretty much have to make a new offshore pump every time, but that's... fine by me. Oh, it's still building up and we still got... Yeah, this is getting us a decent amount of copper every time here. There's still a little bit of a redesign here. We can bring this down across here. And there, we move this from here. We go up into here, go bang. Yep, no longer there. So now we just have one to feed everything, which I'm not sure is going to be enough, but. If it is, all for it, so that's good. I don't like how that's placed, but it's one of the better ways we can go about it. Okay. Okay, that was kind of a bit dangerous there my opinion, but we should be able to do this up and get this up and running once more. Okay. As soon as water gets down there, gets producing into steam once more. No, don't tell me it's not out of water, it's out of coal. It's out of coal. Okay. Well, that one's fairly easily We'll just grab all this coal here, so... And dump it into here. And that's the exact reason why I have burner inserters as the inserters for the coals. So that there's no reason for me to have to upgrade it. Okay. Now. Resources. Do we want... Coal coming in, or let's keep going with the iron. Let's keep going for the iron for now. We've got enough coal to last us a little bit, but it's not going to be a massive amount. And either, either way, I still want to get some way to start building up the backlog. That's all well and good. Research is still going on strong. Okay, it's good. Good, we can grab you, remove this, so we can do this and have filter out coal going up there. So if I do decide to get coal, it goes up into here to be these wooden chests. Can I upgrade these to, oh, I can't upgrade to iron chests, oh, it's fine. Oh, we don't just going through all the iron. Okay. Fluid handling. Oh, wait. We almost got the warp platform being upgraded here. If we stand out here, we should see in a few moments here the next one. Hey! 
Wow, that's a massive upgrade to the warp platform. Which will also mean a big increase in defensive measures, but... Yeah. It's really big. Hmm. Makes me wonder how... What use I'm going to have for this at the moment. At the moment I have no idea because most of my stuff is on the factory floor being safely stored there, but... wonder how much can we place down here well if we bring it in by one because that also leaves room for the walls Oh, it's not too much more than what my current setup actually is. Honestly, I could bring that down as well to have it being doing that. And set up something along the lines of this so I think that would look pretty nice there but that is a lot uh, 28 of them in total if I had to guess 14 42 minus 14 yeah that's 28 The fact that that teleport mobile gate spawns there every single time is annoying. Very annoying. Uh, oh, we didn't make the offshore pump. That's fine. This. Close. You down there. There we go. Hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, we got the automation too. We need to get up and running. So, that's fairly simple. We just grab these green sciences and go, hey, you know what? There's some for each of you. Next plant will get some coal being produced. Oh, they've already destroyed it, haven't they? Well, we do have coal down here. As long as they're not coming from that direction, we can get some coal being mined out. Keep irons here. Might also want to update the gun turrets. Put them on the edge so that when they're in the area they get loaded up with bullets. Okay, so another planet, and we'll just do the quick setup as usual. 
Uh, do we have one over here? Perfect. The planetary warp teleporter. Right there. And up over near the iron, we will plonk down the left harvester platform. Cool. Perfect. While that's going on, we can upgrade our defenses. I'm not sure if we need to do this yet, but it will actually unify it all into just one. If we go something along the lines of this here. See what happens if we do this. Plunk all these down along way down to here. Oh, we need another four of them. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Uh, give me some iron stat. What else? And copper. Okay, I'm going to need to get some more copper soon. Wow, that's a lot of iron per one of these we need. It's a lot. Overall, it's not too bad. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. I'm going to save about a few minutes. So fun. Yeah, I'm always running at the first sign of spiders coming because you don't really have enough to get through everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need, do need another four gun turrets by the looks of it. To fully get this up and running. Um. Let's go for a fast inserter up here. A bit more investment, but we do need to get this one filled up quickly. Can I reach? Can reach down there? Can we get the? Can plunk that down there? We can plunk that on there. So that is pretty much. Good to leave because that would work. <laughs> yeah, it's not often that you get like one that's like perfectly spaced for that. Okay, this isn't too bad of a one here. Okay, green glows. So that definitely says that this is a uranium rich world, which is not a big deal at the moment. Punk you down there. This is perfectly safe then. Let's call spitter start coming, but then I'd have other things to be worried about. Um Do we have copper close by? We've got iron, we've got stone. Oh cool. We've got some copper up here. I'm gonna have to Clear it out. Okay, let's see what we get. It's a lot to clear out here. 
actually we could just go for you and you there we go that's the copper being mined okay now that all basics set up we can come back over here and Get this being dealt with here. Okay. Oh, we're too far across. We need to go here. And here. Here and here. Perfect. I'm waiting for that also. Set this up here as well. Do that, do that, do that, bang. Start producing stone bricks. Perfect. Oh, what I also need to do is remove all these. Oh nice, it's backed up already. Cool. Could I set up a couple of these here? to load ammo up into them here right like so we'll see Do that we would need to actually so yeah to do that and get ammo in there that means we can load them up whenever they need to be sort of actually no Better idea. Plonk it here. And then we can also have the... Insert of like... Okay. So doing it like this... It still accomplishes the same job here. But there won't be any excess being dumped in. Okay, what do we have here? Iron, which I'm suppose will get the iron going. No, there's no iron. Islands. Okay. That's the case. We'll just get you set up how you're meant to be. So, let's see if this worked. Plonk this down. We should see ten and ten. Yes, that's worked. Wasn't sure if that was going to work, but it did. Okay, still going down. Go get through all this copper first. That's a long time without them being attacked. We're finally... 
are being attacked here from below. Okay. Well, let's get the that going up. Oh, it's got the fluid handling, but we're just playing on the green circuits. Okay, you're backed up so you can go out. It's good. Okay. Let's head on back. Cool, this is going to be enough. I, I probably not. Actually, no, because it might be, because it's only 50 for that. Then we've got red and red for the next ones. Even more red, yeah. But I might also am planning to redesign this whole section here. Oh, that's an issue. The amount of coal we have, because yeah, this just burns through it. Okay, we can get rid of this now. So we're back to also working with iron, which we have a lot of iron being ready to come through. So these won't fill up until the entire belt's lost. It's so that's fine. Nice, we got a decent amount coming in there. Cool. Things looking pretty decent. And oh, we're just slightly off from there, aren't we? Nice. So, now we can make fluid tanks, storage tanks, which require a little bit. So we can store water if need be, or even upgrade to storing steam. Probably water might be the easiest way, but worry about that later. What I actually want to do now is We'll make what we need here. Cool. I'll do this here. Okay, that's fine. We're losing that one. I'm perfectly happy with losing that one there. Okay, this is machine two we want to do here because this is slow as anything. Oh nice, we've also got sto stone walls. What are we going to need? That's what we're cooking the stone up for here. So, let's see here. Twenty four, forty eight, fifty two, sixty two, seventy two. So about ninety six ish walls we need. We only have enough for fifty nine, so oh, slowly gain there. But at this point, we don't actually need the walls because we're fending them off fairly decently at the moment. But it would be good to get them. Okay. Cool. So once that's finished researching there, next time... Oh, yeah, once that's finished... Next time I might think about redesigning this whole floor because 
There's going to be a few researches I'm going to need to, well, clear out some of these areas here because they're not exactly in the most optimal spot here. This looks pretty decent. We've got a lot of iron ready. So, yeah, I think it's a good spot to call the end here. So that, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. If you liked what you see, then you can always comment, like, subscribe down below. And if you want to, you could also come join me over on my Discord or my Twitch. I stream every day over on twitch.tv slash expert12 every Monday through Friday. And that, thank you all again for watching. Have a wonderful day in the Sector 12. Signing out. See ya.